This is CBS 46 News at 11, getting results. Breaking at 11, a critical step toward getting a coronavirus vaccine in the arms of Americans. An FDA panel votes to recommend the Pfizer vaccination for emergency use. Tonight, shipping companies already loading up trucks with vaccine kits in anticipation of final approval from the FDA. We're told that could come in a matter of days. Georgia in dire need of a vaccine. We recorded more than 6,000 new infections today alone, the most since the pandemic began. CBS 46's Haley Mason followed today's vaccine hearing. An advisory panel making history tonight, approving the first COVID-19 vaccine in the United States, voting that the benefits outweigh the risks. So we do have a favorable vote. Voting 17 to 4, the committee decided the benefits outweigh the risks in the vaccine, aiming at fighting COVID-19 in people 16 and up with a 95% effective rate. The panel of science experts drilled in on reports that two vaccine recipients in the UK had allergic reactions. We're working very closely with our UK partners to understand uh, what went on with respect to those allergic reactions. More research has to be done over time, and pregnant women are not included in the bulk of the studies. Still, the FDA commissioner indicating widespread use is needed sooner than later. Tweeting after the vote, FDA staff feel the responsibility to move as quickly as possible. However, they know they must carry out their mandate to protect the public health and ensure any authorized vaccine meets our rigorous safety and effectiveness standards. University of Georgia professor Dr. Ralph Tripp served as a voting member. I'm satisfied with the safety and to the extent of what is known to date regarding the efficacy, although he questioned if the Pfizer vaccine could fight asymptomatic infections. And Meharry Medical College President Dr. James Hildreth speaking to CNN tonight after voting yes for the vaccine. I wish there could have been slightly more enrollment of minorities uh, in the trial, but I think the numbers were sufficient. I feel comfortable that the technology itself does not pose any, you know, any real risk. Once the FDA signs off, shipping of the vaccine can begin in 24 hours. Next week, another panel will review a vaccine request from Moderna, who's also requesting emergency use. Reporting outside the CDC, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.